Hello! I am testing my Monkey Island games for upload to YouTube, much like I did previously with Lamperer. I'm using ScumVM. I apologize that the cursor appears both as a pointer and a loading circle on this stuff. Uh, I do have all three uh, that I was speaking of earlier. I have number one, number two, and number three. Number three, Curse of Monkey Island, is a newer game. It does run on Windows. I'm actually going to start number one first. I was be thinking about number three. You'll notice I do have a little bit of area down here. That's simply because the actual window for number three is bigger, and I will need that area. Okay, let's begin number one. See how everything looks over here. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear the music. I do love the music in these games, by the way. I think that is just, just awesome. Uh, I know it's an older game, but the music is great. I will, however, try to refrain from singing along. Uh, I know the other Let's Players do that for the Monkey Island games. It is deserved, because the game is just... Music is just so great. But I will try to refrain. Uh, so hopefully you won't be here and be singing along to uh, these songs. Regardless, I'm going to skip over this, uh, because this is just a quick test. So I'm just going to start here, go right into the menu, return to the launcher, and start game number two. Now, when I do start game number two here, uh, I'm going to note something that comes right after this screen. And basically, it's the difficulty selection. Do I want the hard version or the easy version? Well, I'm going to play the hard version. Now, I will point out when puzzles are not available in the easy version, uh, or if they're different. So that way, you guys, if you are playing the easy version, will know... Uh, you know, what to expect, what's different, all that fun stuff. So again, this is just a quick little test. I'm making sure everything works. So we're going to return here uh, and start number three. All right. Now, you will notice from the graphics here that it is a bit better. Uh, it is, like I said, a newer game that does run on Windows. I have run it on Vista before without any problem. And again, you've got your easy and your hard. So I'm picking the hard version. Um... Now, I just want to say a little something about this scene right here with the, uh, well, actually the one that follows this, but this one as well. Um, I never noticed what the heck this meant until the yesterday, even though I played this game years ago. Uh, you know, like the Dolby, uh, whatever, sound, CMI, that's Curse of Monkey Island, that's the name of the game, and I didn't get that until yesterday. Excuse me. Um, so now, one of the things you might be noticing is my voice. Um, I might have a little bit of an accent. I'll get into that in a moment. But I want you to see this scene right here, blown away. Now, that's exactly what happened to me when I first saw this. I was blown away by this scene. This was amazing. I mean, you play the other two games, you see the graphics they have. This blew me away. This, to me, I, mean, I was like a, a young fella at the time. not that old. I'm 27. But anyways, one of the things that this game has is voiceovers. So we can actually hear the voice of the people who are talking. So here we are looking at the ocean. Why? What's out here? Oh, it's... Is that... Oh, yes. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Let's hear what he has to say, viewers. Let's hear what he has to say. Captain Vlog. Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. Yeah, real interesting. Okay, so I'm going to turn this down. As you can see, I do have the words turned on down here, so that you guys uh, can basically read what's going on. Two reasons. One, I think that's a good idea for a Let's Play, but two, actually, this is how I do usually play the game. I prefer to have the words on screen. Um, so basically that's really all I'm going to show you guys today. I'm just testing this out, making sure everything works. Uh, as we're saying before the map uh, scene, I have a little bit of an accent, I think. At least some of you would think so. I am Canadian. I'm not American like most other Let's Players. Uh, I'm from Toronto. I, I did grow up in the east coast of Canada as well, in a rural area. And it is from rural areas where you do get your accents a little bit. Um, so yes, I'm warning you, I do have a Canadian accent. Uh, if there is anything in particular that any one of you find particularly annoying about it, I will try to change that. Uh, but I'm not going to completely change the way that I speak. Um, but, uh, I don't know. 
you guys let me know what you think about all this. Uh, give me feedback, comment. I love comments, even if you're... Somebody commented on my, uh, uh, um, my channel page uh, before any of these Let's Plays. I had posted a few videos for a game I had created and run for a while and commented, uh, oh, you're a homo. And it's like, what the hell, dude? But you know what? I'd prefer any comment, even that comment, to no comment. So let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know if you think I'm doing a great job, a terrible job, if you think I'm a homo. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be uploading anything tomorrow, um, but we will see. Alrighty.